welcome back um, to my guest room. <laughs> I am going back to the top 10 series today and today I'm going to be talking about our top 10 Disney World pools and I'm not gonna lie I put this together literally like a minute ago and I'm sure I'm gonna butcher some of these names or forget them so I finally I do have them pulled up on my computer and uh, I was gonna say like oh I'm not very prepared for this but I feel like it sounds like I'm never really prepared for these so I guess nothing is different but uh, my mom and I were trying to come up with a next YouTube video idea and we were thinking like should we do our favorite um, our favorite resorts or should we do I don't know it's hard to do resorts because I feel like like I feel like naturally we kind of like gravitated towards our favorite resorts being like in the deluxe category <laughs> and I guess kind of the pools are that way too but um so I was like oh maybe we should do pools because I could definitely think of a few value resort pools that I liked and that type of stuff so it kind of morphed into this so if anyone has any suggestions about some more top 10 series, let me know because I'm kind of running out of ideas here since we probably won't be in Disney World until at the very earliest November. Well, I shouldn't say probably. We won't be there until at least November. So um, anyone have any top 10 ideas or any other things that they would like me to touch on, then certainly let me know. But let's get started. So the first pool I'm going to talk about, and I, I feel like people are going to be like, why did you put this on your list, is... The Fantasia pool at Disney's All-Star Movies. So I tried to pick pools in every category and of the value resorts that I've ever seen in, I've really only seen in All-Star Movies and uh, Art of Animation. So those are the two pools I picked from those resorts, but I really do think they are cool. So the difference between the pools in um, the value resorts versus the rest of the resorts is that they don't have a slide. So these are just going to be large feature pools because there's obviously more people that stay at these resorts, so the pools are pretty big. But I, and it's probably just because I have very fond memories of this pool growing up, but I just think it was a really cool pool how um, you got, you have this big sorcerer Mickey, he's a fountain, and you have this big red backdrop, like it's kind of like you're watching a movie. I think that's really cool, and I just remember... Um, the pool being huge so you weren't bumping into a ton of people and the water was always fairly warm because it was the sun. I feel like it was zero entry but I might have been making that up and it was nice because I, at least as, as far as I can remember which to be honest I haven't stayed here since like the early 2000s but um, I, I remember it being fairly close to the the food court which is a good plus so that's my first pool so again it's called the Fantasia pool and uh I thought that was cool apparently they have another pool over there called the duck 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 pond pool which is bigger but I don't actually remember ever swimming in that one so that's first on my list the next on my list staying in the the the, the I should say the um the value category is the big blue pool at Art of Animation. So this pool is awesome. Um, the only time we see Art of Animation, this is actually the only pool we ever made it to because it was kind of chilly when we were there. Um, but this is definitely a zero entry pool. I'm just reading about it. It's huge. Apparently it has 310,000 310, gallons of water. Um, but it's it's named the Big Blue Pool and it's obviously themed after Finding Nemo. So this is going to be the closest pool to the food court as well, which is always a plus. So if you can drink your, you bring your cup and you go get your snacks and you sit by the pool, they do have a cool bar there, um, which is called uh, the Drop Off, I think, which I think is kind of funny. And uh, it's, um, I don't know, it's really cool. They have other pools there. They have the Cars pool and then the, I think there's um, maybe a little mermaid pool. I'm not sure. But this pool is by far the coolest and the biggest. And again, in the day and age when we're trying to social distance, you probably want a bigger pool. Um, but the coolest part about this pool is the, the music. So they play music underwater. And I was expecting it to be... Um, like all Disney music, but it wasn't, which was cool. And my mom, went, like I said, it was kind of chilly when we were there. So it took us like a few days to work up to actually going underwater to hear, but it was so cool to hear the water under the pool. So that's definitely one of our top 10 favorite pools. So moving on to the next one, I'm going to take these off the list as I go so I don't get as confused. Let's go to the moderate category. We'll just go up by that. And my first moderate category is going to be the pool at um, uh, Caribbean Beach. It's called Fuentes del Moro. And 
Oh, first I should say that I'm only putting the top 10 pools of the resorts I stayed at because I know that Coronado apparently has a pretty cool pool. I don't know why I'm fussing around again so much. Also, I forgot to mention I have my neat ears on today because my hair is a mess, so I thought I would hide it that way. <laughs> um, but anyway, so um, I know Coronado, I have heard, has a cool pool, but we've never stayed there, so I didn't put that on the list. So the in all fairness i've actually never swam in the caribbean beach pool but i have seen it um when we stayed at the caribbean pool, beach pool this was back in 2010 and it was freezing freezing this trip i mean i'm talking like 30 to 40 degree weather we were wearing multiple coats and hats and gloves in florida cold so we never actually got able to swim but towards the end of our trip it started to warm up a little bit and i did get to go in the hot tub which is next to the pool we got to see the cool um slide so I dropped my uh, my uh, remote again, but the the slide has a pirate ship and it looks like really cool. And um, it def it does have a water slide, which again we didn't we didn't get to go down, but it looks really cool. I'm gonna grab my remote real fast. Oh no, I can't find it. Here it is. Okay. So, um, but it looks really cool, and I don't think you're allowed to like climb on the water the pirate ship or anything, but uh definitely cool and i i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly this was fairly close to the food court as well so these would be what we'd call the feature pools and the feature pools are they going to be the pools that have the water slide at disney resorts and also that are more kid friendly and usually have some sort of kid play area next to them too so that's that one so that's the caribbean beach pool so the next pool i'm going to talk about is the pool at uh, port orleans riverside it's called old man I island so um, we have never actually stayed at Port Orleans Riverside. However, it is a very quick walk from Port Orleans French Quarter, which is where we've stayed many times. And my mom and I one day decided to walk over there just to check it out. And it was probably maybe like a 10 to 15 minute walk. It wasn't too bad. And we went probably a little bit of a longer way. But this pool is really cool. It's, um, it looks like, it says it's three and a half acres, um, which is huge. And um they there's tons of bridges they have a really cool water slide that we went down it's 95 foot long um and uh they apparently their bar is called muddy rivers but i just remember like they you know it really goes with the theme super well which disney pools are definitely the best at theming things in general um i would say but the the, the, I just remember there being like like old boxes everywhere and they say it's like a fishing hole too so there's like places where you can fish from and um, I don't know it was really really cool however I don't remember there being a lot of seats around this pool and it can be pretty crowded if, if I remember correctly um, but super super coolly themed pool so that's next I'm trying to go fast because I feel like I make these videos way too long I don't think I have any videos of really any of these pools so I'm just gonna talk today um but if I could find some pictures I guess I can throw those in for you if I can find some like I definitely don't think I'll have any for like art of animation or um uh what's it called all stars just because I haven't stayed at those places in a while and I don't know if I have Riverside but I'll take a peek so and see if I have any um my family loves going down waterfall or water slides I should say so any resort that has a water slide where We'll be down it with the kids for sure. So that brings me to my next pool, which is, um, it's called the Dubloon. Oh my gosh, the Dubloon. The Dubloon. Dubloon. Dubloons? Whatever. Dubloon Lagoon, which is the Port Orleans French Quarter uh, pool. So I don't, this pool gets a lot of hate and I don't really know why. But I was listening to a podcast about pools a while ago and they were saying like how this pool is like one of the worst. And granted, the slide isn't very long comparatively. I think that they said it's 51 feet, but it's so cool. You like slide out of a dragon's mouth into the, the water, and I think that's cool. And there's a cool like feature in the middle of the pool with fountains. And then there's a pretty shallow one towards like the beginning of the pool where they play all the kids games. But when I guess one of the arguments about this pool is that it's not as open as some of the others, which I don't really feel like front Riverside's is that open either if it's three and a half acres and that's probably hard to keep an eye on your kids. But apparently like the water feature in the middle of the French Quarter pool can be tough to watch your kids. But what's cool about this pool is there's like a nice step up seating area in the back. I guess I didn't talk about the seating areas at all, but this is the one that sticks out in my brain. Um, let's, I, I'll cycle back real quick. I don't remember the seating area. I'll start, uh, 
the seating areas, there were tons of seats at Art of Animation, Caribbean, don't remember, um, Riverside, I don't remember that, like I said, there not being that many seats. And then this one, there's not a ton of seats, but there's a bunch of seats like right around the pool. And then there's a step up in the back that also has uh, more like of a quiet area of seats that kind of are along the water, um, like where the boats are that you would take to Disney Springs. So that's really pretty and kind of quiet up there, but the pool is really fun. I actually really like it. I like the theme. I love French Quarter. I love New Orleans. So it's kind of up my alley anyway. And the hot tub is the only really big downside of this pool, I would say, because it's really pretty far away from the rest of the pool. You have to like walk up the whole path to get there. And sometimes you can get cold by the time you get there. So I would say that's that's probably the worst part about it is just the hot tub is not very well themed or it's not even close to the pool. But it's also a hop, skip, and a jump away from Mardi Gras, which is um, our favorite pool uh, bar. Um, my sister Jill and my brother-in-law Nick, literally, I swear, know the bartenders there um, because it's the same bartenders for years. And every time we stay there, they're always at Mardi Gras. Uh, but they're super nice there. They have really good drinks and they always have good snacks there too. Um, and then it's also very close to the food court, which is nice. And the nice thing about this pool is that it's not very far from really any of French Quarter, which is French Quarter's perk in itself is that it's in general very close to everything there. So I know I'm probably gonna get a little hate for that one, but I really like that pool. So what's next? Um, let's see, so now I'm moving out of the, I'm going into the, let's see, I have five pools left, I think, right? So I did two values, yeah. Okay, so all of the rest of the pools are at Deluxe Resort, so I do apologize, but I feel like it's, you know, deluxe resorts have the better pools for a reason. So, um, because there, there are more of them and because, I don't know, I guess it's kind of like the more you pay. So this one is probably going to get a little bit of hate too, but, um, so there are two pools at the Contemporary. There's the main pool, which is like the feature pool, which I don't even know. I was trying to, I don't think it has a name. They literally wrote when Presley says on the website, quote, feature pool, and it has, um, a 17 foot high, uh, water slide, but that is not the pool I'm putting on the list of for the contemporary. I am putting what they call the Bay Lake pool on the list. I think that's what they call it. Yeah. Bay Lake pool. So, okay. So if you're, you're at the pool at the contemporary, so the contemporary is like, say the contemporary is in front of me, the feature pool is right there and then behind it. So closest to the water, hence the name Bay Lake is this small circular area that's the quiet pool. And this pool is so simple. It's probably as simple as it can get. It's a, literally a circle pool with a circle of chairs around it, some cabanas, and that's it. But it is the best pool and I'll tell you why. A, it's always quiet. Almost never is anyone in the pool or in the water. And if there are, it's almost never kids, which I have nothing against kids, but sometimes you just want to like swim without the, all the games that they play which I do enjoy playing the trivia game. So it's not like I ignore the games either, but, um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. And so like, there's, like I said, it circles, it's kind of deep, but my, we've had my nephew in it before when there's like been no one else around and he can swim decently well with his, um, with his like whatever life vest on. Um, but the best part about the pool is the view. So it literally is right on the water and next to the beach and it just looks it like you can sit there in the pool on the stairs and just kind of sunbathe a little bit and you look at the beautiful water and you can see the boats going by and it's just one of the best relaxing places. It's pretty close to the sandbar. So if you want to get yourself some nachos and a quesadilla while you're at it, I mean, no one's stopping you. And uh, I don't know, there's something about this pool and I think about it all the time right now when I feel like I'm just gonna like tear up because I'm kind of sad that I'm not at Disney right now because we were supposed to leave. Uh, on Wednesday of this week, but just like something about that pool just like makes you feel like you're not at Disney and it's so peaceful and just like looking at the water and it's, you know, you can say it set on the sun. Ugh. It's one of the, my happiest places at Disney. And it's weird because it makes you feel like, like I just said, you're not at Disney, but you know, you're at Disney because if you can turn around, you can see like Bay Lake Tower in the castle sometimes, depending on what angle you're at, or at least you can hear like, if you're at night, you can see the fireworks from that pool, which is cool. Um, but it's like, 
I don't know. So they bought it's just the best. So I feel like words can't describe it and it sounds so silly because it's the smallest pool. <laughs> but and it has like nothing to it. And honestly, like the contemporary feature pool is not that exciting. It has really no considering it's like and it probably is because it's it's, you know, one of the first hotels. Like there's really no theming to that pool. I wonder if they'll ever redo it, but I actually like it. But so, okay, I have babbled on about that for quite a bit of time. So that's it for the cont the contemporary pool. Next up is, um, I'm going to go with the next quiet pool. Let's do that. And that is going to be the quiet pool at the Grand Floridian. So I guess technically, um, from what I was reading in an article, this what we consider this quiet pool at the contemporary or Grand Floridian is actually it's feature pool although it doesn't have the slide so I'm not quite sure why they would say that but this is called the courtyard pool and I've talked about this before on the club level um uh YouTube video I did but this is a pool that's literally in the middle called hence why it's called courtyard and it's right across from um it's it's right across from the contemporary the sugar loaf the uh club level building um Again, I don't know why I love it so much because it's very basic. No water slide this one. The water slide is at the other pool, like I said, the beach pool, which has like a, a little bit of an Alice in Wonderland theme. I've actually, we've never actually been down that slide or anything. Um, not a ton of seating at this pool, which is one of its drawbacks, but the pool itself is so nice because it's zero entry for quite a bit of it. And so just being able to sit there with like, I read books in there and you can kind of sunbathe in there without having to go in too deep, but you can go in deep. And it's, it's not, I guess we call it the quiet pool, but it's not really quiet pool because tons of kids are there too, which is fine. Cause like I said, it's technically the feature pool. And I think it's a setting thing for me, kind of like it is for the quiet pool at the, the contemporary is that you can just like look around and you just see the beautiful building of the Grand Floridian and sometimes you'll see the weddings go by and the carriages and it's just really it's really stunning of a view and that's also one of my happy places too. I think when I think about how much I miss Disney and as much as I like miss being in the Magic Kingdom, I also miss like just the quiet moments there of being able to kind of look around and kind of people watch a little bit and see the beautiful buildings and the beautiful landscaping. And like, I'm literally getting sad about this right now because I just miss Disney so much, but um, just, I don't know, just like the the stillness of, of the chaos I think is nice too. And I don't know. So I could go on again about this one, but again, very basic, but I really like it. So, um, okay. The next one on my list, again, I'm for sure going to get some hate from this one. And this is the Luna Park pool, which is on the boardwalk. With the boardwalk resort and the reason i'm gonna get hate for this is because of the slide but so i'm gonna read you the description because i think it's kind of cool so it says it's a carnival themed pool that is home to a 200 foot long water slide hearkening back to an amusement park of the 1920s um it it invites you to clown around in the water and make a splash under uh spouting trunks of grinning elephant statues so um i'm sure like actually whoever writes these things are pretty cool but anyway so the reason I say a lot of people don't like this pool is because the slide is a clown mouth at the end of it and people hate clowns, but I have no problem with clowns, but this pool is so much fun. Um, the bar, I think it's called like Leaping Libations or something, um, is, uh, looks like a carousel, which is really cool. And they have like carousel and theme park dr based, uh, drinks there. Um, there's tons of seating. There's usually not a lot of people at this pool. The water is usually pretty warm. And I think the slide is really fun. And the coolest thing, when you get up to the slide, you can see around, you can see Hollywood Studios, um, Tower of Terror, and you can see, um, you can see Epcot from there. And then like the Swan and the Dolphin, you can see the Beach Club. It's really cool views. And this, the slide's actually super fun if you can get past the clown thing. But I think the theming of this pool is one of the best, really. As much as people probably don't like the theme of it, I think it looks really cute, especially with the carousel. One day I'd like to have one of the pool views, um, I think, for the DVC resorts are over there. But so that's the next pool. And the second to last pool on my list is the pool. It's called Copper Creek Springs Pool, which is the main pool at um, Wilderness Lodge. So Wilderness Lodge, this is Copper Creek, but also just the main Wilderness Lodge pool. So because Copper Creek is in the main building, essentially. So this one has, uh, I think it's it says it's a 67 foot water, ball, uh, water slide, which is not like the most exciting water slide, but it's cool because it's built into the rocks a little bit. Kind of like the Polly's water slide, but the Polly's water slide, and the reason I didn't put the Polly pool, which I guess maybe I'll just 
talk to this really quick because people are probably surprised because I think that pool is so crowded. You can never find a seat. It's cool because you can see the ca the castle from there, but it's, it's so crowded and the slide is all enclosed, which I don't really like. And if I had to pick a pool at the poly, I'd pick the quiet pool. But, um, anyway, so it's, it has, it's built into the rocks like the poly, but it's an open pool and it's stunning. Again, the views of this pool are incredible. You can see the entire wilderness lodge from there. The waterfall that is, starts in the lobby of the wilderness lodge, you can come down into and it comes into the pool and you can kind of stand there around that waterfall. You can see the geyser go off. The hot tubs are pretty cool there. The, um, it's right next to, or it's pretty close to, I should say, Geyser Point. So you can get the delicious french fries that they have at Geyser Point. Um, and I don't know, it's really nice. Um, it's especially beautiful at nighttime. So night swimming is not something we do a ton, but in the summer we do try to do that. And this pool is stunning at nighttime. I, uh, we definitely have gone in there after races at nighttime just to kind of like soak our legs and get a little bit of our, our muscles back, but beautiful pool. It's also close to, um, what's the name of the quick service at Wilderness Lodge? Oh my gosh. I haven't stayed there in so long. I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. I just thought of an idea though. I'm going to talk about our top 10 quick service restaurants in our next video. <laughs> um, what the heck? Okay, whatever. It's not important, but, um, that's the name of that pool. So, um, okay. This is really going to drive me nuts. Um, so I'm just going to keep thinking about it and while I go on to the next one. So the last pool, and in this instance, I did save the best for last, and this is Stormalong Bay, which is at Disney's Yacht Club and Beach Club. This pool, and I've probably talked about it time and time again because I am literally obsessed with this pool. My mom and I have stayed at the Yacht Club many times in the last like year and a half because of this pool. So it wasn't even that long ago that my mom and I went to, I think it, I literally think it was like July of 2018 that I remember my mom and I going to eat at Beaches and Cream and just staring at that pool, just wishing to go into this pool. And then since then, we've probably stayed there like five or six times, <laughs> either at the Beach Club, but mostly the Yacht Club, um, which I like the Yacht Club better just because of the size of it. It was just funny because I used to look at pictures. This is such an off track, but I'm still trying to find the name of the... Oh no, I'm on the Yacht Club. What am I doing? I'm still trying to find the name of the um, restaurant at uh, wilderness lodge but anyway um the yacht club to me I used to look at pictures I'd be like oh that place looks horrible it's so dark and like weird but it is kind of dark the wood's dark in there but I actually really like it so anyway Stormalong Bay is massive I should probably pull up the actual specs for you so let me do that but um so this is the pool that is a sand bottom pool it has the best water slide because you have to walk over the boardwalk to get there which is kind of awkward when you walk across in your bathing suit and you have to climb up all these stairs and you go down the side. And I know I've talked about this before and I can't remember what video I talked about this before in, but I definitely have. Um, but it's so cool. And there is a, um, there is a, uh, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? What was I just talking about? Um, Roaring Fork, first off, finally came to my brain. But anyway, oh, Lazy Man River in there. And there's a cool, like, sand, huge sand bottom, like, kids area, kind of closer to the yacht club side that kids can play in. But, um, oh gosh, I mean, so I just, like, can't even describe it. There are so many, like, different bridges. That's the only downside of this pool is, first off, sometimes it's hard to find seating, I think, just because of how many people stay at these two resorts. But also, um, there are so many bridges there. Like sometimes if you're going between parts of the pool, it's really hard to get there because you have to like walk over certain bridges, but they have this pretty cool like elevated area that you can, you can walk up and there are chairs up there they can look at the whole thing. Okay. So it's a 750,000 gallon beachside pool. Um, let's see. It's sand bottom. It's, we talked about that. There's the shipwreck. Um, it's the highest, ho it says it's one of the highest hotel water slides. Um, three whirlpool spas. Oh, I guess it doesn't say how long the the slide is, but it's just really cool. The water is super, super like clear. If you are annoyed by the games, you, there are plenty of other places to go. At times it's a little bit deeper than others, which is kind of hard. The, the Lazy Man River, which I definitely know I talked about, is, is super deep, um, but 
that's fine. And uh, I don't know, I don't know, it's just so cool. This is a beautiful spot for a nighttime swim as well. Um, it, there's tons of lights there. You can look out in the boardwalk, which is really pretty. And um, I don't know, what else can I say? It's just like the best. It's so hard to describe. <laughs> um, I We took my sister when we last went to Disney in February of this year. Uh, my sister it was my first time. My sister, bleh, my sister's first time staying at Yacht Club, and I know she was like super excited to see at the pool, and it was really cool. So I don't think words can even describe. Like if you're walking along the boardwalk, I've definitely walked by this pool before, but I think I always thought it was separate pools because of how huge it is. But I didn't realize until like we stayed there of that's literally connected. This pool, you 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 get a wristband, so you have to be staying there. I mean, you have to be staying at all the pools unless you're DVC. You can pool hop a little bit, but. Um, uh, you can't pull hop to this pool. You have to be staying there. So they scan your magic band to like confirm your reservation and they give you a wristband to go in there. But super stunning of a pool. And the sand bottom is the best, especially if you have bug bites. Like I had a bunch when we stayed there the first time and I used to scrape my legs around the, the bottom. <laughs> and like it would scratch my bug bites. That's kind of gross. I don't know why I shared that story, but it's true. So my voice is like, you're done talking. So I guess I'm done talking. And uh, I think that's it. So um, thanks for watching again. Make sure you subscribe. Please share with your friends and comment on your favorite Disney World Resort pool. Honorable mentions, if I can include Disneyland in here, is the Disneyland Hotel pool. It's super cool because it's monorail themed and e-ticket attraction themed, which is cute. But we're not doing Disneyland. So um, I will see you guys next week then for our top 10 favorite quick service restaurants.